So we feeling hearts now? So we feeling hearts now? Come on, son! Sendu Jikage back at it again, bring you my Naruto Manga Chapter 647 review. Now before I get into why I don't really like the whole feeling heart thing, let's talk about Cotton for a quick moment. For a quick moment. So you would notice that on a certain page, she said that she just wanted to hug Sasuke and lick him all over. Now, being a man of age, saying she wants to lick him all over, my mind instantly goes to a certain thing. And that's all I got to say about that. Karen's a freak. But now back, back to the actual story itself. So we finally got Rochi and the crew and the Kage's coming to the battlefield. Well, Rochi appeared at the battlefield, Kage's on their way. It's about damn time. It's about time. Because when that tree, that, that tree sprouted in the air, I'm like, I know. I know the Kage saw that. The Kage ain't coming after that, then I don't know. They just not coming. <laughs> they just not coming. But, alas, still no Kakashi. I feel like he getting Yamato, man. I feel like he getting Yamato. Yamato still in a Hashibama tree. <laughs> Beneath the Earth's crust. Just there. Just stuck. Forever. Then we got Hashirama's speech. Telling people not to give up, you know, telling them the whole plan. They only got 15 minutes. Now, I understand how she run, but I understand where you're coming from, you know, not giving up. It'll be the same as dying if you give in to the infinite Tsukuyomi. I understand your perspective. But at the same time, <laughs> you a powerful ass ninja. And you did already, okay? Now, with these other ninja, not counting, not counting all the people that we know in the story, like the Genin 9 and all of them. But the regular ninja that's just dying around the battlefield. They regular. <laughs> they not about to survive. They not about to survive, man. Come on. You you know. You know they about to die. If I was a regular ninja, if I was a regular ninja, man, I'd be like, F that. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I know. I know. I know that's whack. I know that's like a cop out. But if I was a regular ass ninja with no superpowers or at least no abilities way above average, I'd be like, F that. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out this mofo. Then we got Obito trolling. Come on, man. Come on. So after so after all the ninja, after all the ninja, the regular ninja, start reconsidering what they're doing on the battlefield and their chances against a chakra tree just, that can suck the life out of them. Obito come here like, yes, that's good. Yes. Yes. Keep feeling that way. Don't do nothing. And I won't kill you. That's it. It's simple. This this man could be over already. Now Sasuke, I don't know man. Sasuke, Sasuke got Vegeta man. He got Vegeta. I don't know if he gonna ever be as powerful as Naruto, or even well he might be just powerful enough to make a battle between Sasuke and Naruto interesting. But in the end man, he got Vegeta. <laughs> he the second most powerful. He gonna always be the second most powerful. He just need to pull one of those. One of those late DBZ episodes where Vegeta acknowledged that Goku was number one. You just need to do that. Just do that and get it over with, man. You're not, you're not, you're not usurping Naruto in power. Now let's get to this Naruto cheese. Okay, I understand Naruto is all about never giving up, relying on your friends, inspiration, motivation, and all of that goodness. But you're telling me this dude just regained all his chakra back because, because of his heart. <laughs> because of his heart and we have like a page and a half of people around the battlefield having exclamation marks because they can feel his heart come on son that's a little cheesy that's a little cheesy if i must say but it is what it is i mean what else can you do naruto gotta get his chakra back right he gotta get his chakra back because he gotta fight or else or else he'll just be dead or the story will progress in the way where he should have died and then we got Shikimaru. Now, I know Shikimaru is at the break of death. I don't think he's actually, actually dead. Because if he was, then we would have had Eno and all of them, you know, pouring out tears and all that good stuff. But I think he may be saved by Tsunade arriving on the battlefield just in time or something like that. But it's like at the same time, man, if Shikimaru die, if another Genin 9 dies, I don't even care really. I like, like, when Neji died, when Neji died, I was like, dang, he killed Neji. He killed Neji. But if Shikimaru died, I'm gonna be like, eh. <laughs> they killed Shiki. They killed Shiki, whatever. I mean, he's smart and all. He, he cool. But he ain't really crucial. He ain't really, he ain't really strike, strike a chord with me. 
throughout the Naruto series. So all in all, man, I think it was a cool chapter. I think it has some cheese. I think it has some cheese with filling that hard crap. But all in all, I think it was a good chapter. Hopefully the story progresses next week and we don't just have a whole bunch of people on the battlefield amazed at Naruto's heart and regaining his chakra and they actually do something. So what did you think of the chapter? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video for more Naruto manga reviews. Until next time, send you Jikage, baby. And that's how we do it.